it can attract certain types of forces to your body which you may not be able to handle. You can just get your life in a tizzy. You can literally do everything that you want and not just with yours, with everybody else's bodies here. Metal has a certain receptivity about it. Getting me into an area that usually I would like to avoid. Because I generally don't want to talk about anything that is not yet in your experience. Because if I speak about something which is not in your experience, what is the choice you have? The only choice you have is either to believe me or to disbelieve me. If you believe me, it doesn't get you any closer to truth. If you disbelieve me, it doesn't get you any closer to truth. Yes? You're still in the same spot, but you have a fancy story going. This is the mistake that's always been done. People are constantly talking about things that are not in your experience. But now the question is, is there such a thing? I'm wearing a ring on my thumb, why are they asking me to take, take it off? So this human body is a mechanism. You may be too attached and identified with it, so you're not seeing it that way, but it's actually a mechanism, isn't it? Yes? If you… you've been for some surgery or something, any of you? If you go to the surgery, they will just treat you like uh, you took the car to the garage, just like that, they put you down there and da-da-da, <laughs> clean you up and open you up and rip you off, do this, do that and put you back. <laughs> They're just treating you like any machine, isn't it so? You see, for a lot of people, surgery is a very humiliating experience. Because suddenly all the little, little sensibilities that you had is everything gone, they just open you up, they close you up, they do everything <laughs> the way they think it should be done, isn't it? So because this is just a mechanism, this mechanism has come with many possibilities. As I said, in yoga, we are seeing this body as a ladder to the divine. If you know how to keep this, this is a phenomenal mechanism. Right now we are using it in a very minimal way, very, very minimal way. This is an airplane, but you have chosen to drive it, you know. <laughs> when you choose to drive your airplane, you start driving and there's two damn things. It hits your buildings, your lampposts and everything. So you don't like these two things. So you chop off the two wings and you drive it. An airplane with chopped off wings is a wonderful bus actually. Yes? You're just happy? You're quite okay, what's wrong? I'm driving a great bus. But someone who knows what it means to fly sees an air aircraft with chopped off wings, he will cry. Yes? That's how I feel when I look at the yoga that's happening and the way people are living, because this can be in some other way, you have not imagined. See, if I go into the details, it'll be too fairy taleish, too fairy taleish for any sensible person to believe. I wouldn't believe a damn thing like that if anybody told me. But these are everyday realities for me, so many things. Mm, right here, that you are here, there are so many dimensions of life right here, now, but it's not in your experience. I'm talking about physical realities, I'm not talking about something else. As we are all sitting here and doing a program right now, there are many levels of physical realities right here various types of things happening. This is a whole world, multi-layered world, one inside the other. You know, this is a multi-layered existence, one inside the other. Today modern physics is beginning to recognize that, do you know? They're talking about multiple realities existing, one inside the other. It is so.
account is just like technology. Whatever we thought is impossible few years ago has become a reality, isn't it today? Just like that, occult is another dimension of technology, but still physical. It is still on the physical plane, but handling a different level of physicality, not physical as you know it. So, wearing a ring on your thumb, what would it do? It can attract certain types of forces to your body which you may not be able to handle. It can just get your life in a tizzy. If you happen to go to certain places, if you attract certain types of forces, it can get your whole life into a bad tizzy. Because the moment you mer metal on your thumb, they all assume that you want them. So, if you… if you attach an antenna from your brain up, Every damn radio station that's going on in California, you have to bear with it. Now, if you don't want to hear all this, you have to pull off the antenna, isn't it? This is just like that. Metal has a certain receptivity about it, a certain impact about it. So, it is used in certain ways. So, it was always fixed that you must wear a ring upon your ring finger everywhere in the world. This was fixed as ring, ring finger. You think it's by accident? It is not by accident. This ring finger from here to here, the whole physical universe is right here. This is like the mouse of your computer. If you just do this from here to here, you can take yourself from one dimension to another. You can, you can literally do everything that you want in this body just with your ring finger and not just with yours, with everybody else's bodies here. You can do what you want just with through your ring finger. There's a whole science in yoga about the ring finger. The ring finger is considered as the key to everything that you are. So fixing a ring on the ring finger became important because that's a simple way of ensuring the stability of the system. If you put any metal on the ring finger, the system remains very stable. You put it somewhere else, somewhere else, somewhere else. Today, anywhere you can poke, people are putting metal. It will do its own things. It has its own impact. It's not a deciding factor like that. One can wear all these things and still be reasonably okay. But it is like you can make your car totally flat like a wall and drive it. You can still drive it. It just consumes uh, two times more gas than if it is properly shaped, isn't it? The same thing. You can go like this and walk through everything, but it is just you'll simply exhaust yourself through the process of life. Rather than going through it joyfully, effortlessly, you will just exhaust yourself by doing wrong things, that's all. Everybody gets to live, but not with the same ease, isn't it? Isn't it so? Simply because unless you do the right things, right things do not happen to you in this world. Inside, outside, many dimensions, it doesn't matter what. Unless you do the right things, right things will not happen to you. That's the way it is.